Yes, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Hello kittens, what's going on? I'm Mark and welcome to Epic Confections. If you are new here, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. I have my Christmas attire on. I couldn't find my little hat though. I'll dig it out of the closet. Anyway, I wanted to start some Christmas cake videos, so today I'm gonna be making an elf cake. Let's do it. So for this cake, I'm gonna need red, white, and green fondant. I already have some pre-dyed red fondant. I'm gonna dye some green fondant. You all know how I love dyeing fondant. No, that was a joke. I don't like dyeing fondant at all. I'm not impressed. I do not like dyeing fondant. I do not like dyeing fondant. So to start, I have three seven inch round white cakes. I'm just gonna level them out, fill them with buttercream, stack it up, and we're gonna ice the entire cake in a flesh colored buttercream. Let's do it. Just a little bit of buttercream on my board so my cake doesn't slide around. So I just have a jug full of really hot water and my spatula and a cheater bag full of that flesh colored buttercream. To achieve that color, I literally just put a drop of ivory into plain white buttercream. Boom, you got yourself some flesh color. Just starting at the top, smoothing it out as best as I can. And then just working on the sides, holding my spatula straight up and down, letting the turntable do the work for you, and just smoothing out those sides as best as I can. Now I'm just going to wipe off all that excess moisture that is collected at the bottom of the cake. I'm going to stick this into the freezer for a good 10-15 minutes. Let's do it. Also, I hope everybody's in the Christmas spirit. I am this year, which is strange. I usually don't get into the Christmas spirit, but this year I'm seeing carols left, right, and center. Silent night, holy night. <laughs> so next I just melted down some chocolate and I have a disposable piping bag here. I'm just gonna throw that chocolate right in that bag. So what we're gonna be doing with this, we're gonna be making his hair. If you remember, I did a Halloween video where I made Frankenstein and I made the drip his hair, same kind of thing. Just gonna snip the tip here. And we're just gonna fill in the rest of the top of the cake with chocolate and just smoothing it out. Going right up to the edge, making sure not to disturb that chocolate that's already there. Once you're happy with your hair drip, we're gonna start working on his clothes and some of his features. Let's get started. So I'm just taking some of that green fondant that I just dyed. Ugh. I'm just rolling it out. This is gonna go all the way around the base of the cake, so you definitely wanna make sure that you have enough. Just cutting the tops off. And I'm gonna make a nice straight line with the fondant. Beautiful. So I'm just rolling this. And you always wanna start on the back of your cake. So here's my little roll of fondant. And I'm just taking it, laying it down, and just rolling it out. 
making sure that it sticks to that buttercream. Next, just taking some plain white fondant. I'm just gonna be rolling it into a long cylinder. And this cylinder does not have to be perfect because we're gonna give it some texture. It does have to go all the way around the cake though. So what I'm gonna do is just start from the base of the cake and kind of make like a V. This is the front of the cake, so this is where his face is gonna be. So I'm just gonna make kind of like a V with that white fondant. I'm just using a little bit of water to stick that fondant on. Just using my finger. Use a brush. But I'm just using my finger. And I'm making a line of water all around the top of that fondant. So I just cut off the end and then I rounded it out with my finger. And just going back and pushing that fondant, making sure it's nice and secure. Next we're gonna give this little ring of, ring, it's not a ring, this cylinder of white fondant some texture. So I have some Wilton fondant tools here. And I'm just gonna start randomly, kind of pressing that pattern all over the fondant. I'm gonna take my ball tool and just do some indents randomly. Cute now. Loving it. So next I'm gonna work on his face. I need some white fondant and some black fondant and a little bit of red. So just rolling out a small piece of white fondant. I have a large French tip here that I'm gonna use for his eyes. Just using my fingers to kinda smooth out the uh, edges of his eyes. Where are we gonna stick them? We're gonna stick him here. There's his little eyes. He's so cute. Then I have a little bit of black on him. Oh, this one's a little, a little crispy. And I just have a regular sized trim tip here. Using that to cut out the black part of his eye. Little eyeballs. So cute. <laughs> you definitely can't see on the camera, but I have two really, really small round circles that I'm gonna use just for some highlight in his eyes. So next just in a small piping bag. Dick. So next in a small piping bag with a medium tip, I have some of that flesh-colored buttercream. I'm gonna make his nose. I just want a little baby small nose. You can use a little bit of hot water just to flatten it out a little bit. We're gonna do his little smile here so I have a little bit of black fondant. I'm just rolling it out. I'm gonna give him kind of a, a crooked smile. Cause he's like, I know what you all getting for Christmas, but you don't. Mm -hmm. I love him. And now taking a little bit of red fondant, we're gonna make some blush on his cheeks, because what man doesn't want blush on his cheeks, right? I'm just gonna use that small trim tip again. I love him. We need to name him. Leave a comment below on what you think his name should be. Something the elf. Edward the elf. <laughs> so next we're gonna be doing his ears. You can either use flesh colored fondant. You can use fondant for everything here. Um, but I don't know, I like to use a whole bunch of different mediums and you know I love my buttercream. So, so I'm going to be doing that on a piece of parchment paper and then throwing it into the freezer and freezing the buttercream and then I can stick it on. So. So while it's on the parchment paper, you can manipulate it a little bit, kind of shape it however you'd like. So I just made two teardrops. Can you see that? I'm gonna stick that into the freezer for a good 20, 25 minutes. So I just put my cake in the fridge to chill for a little bit, along with the buttercream ears in the freezer. In the meantime, I have some red fondant. I'm just gonna roll this out. I'm gonna make his 2D um, elf hat. So I do want this piece of fondant relatively thick because it is gonna be sitting uh, upright on some dowels. So I'm just cutting off the bottom. 
And I'm just eyeballing the shape of the hat that I want. So there is the shape of his hat. Totally cute. And now we're gonna roll out a little bit of green fondant. So what I'm gonna do with this green fondant is at the bottom of the hat, I'm gonna make some frillies. For lack of a better term, frillies. And I'm just randomly cutting little tiny triangles, I guess. Just wetting the fondant a little bit with my finger. Making sure that this guy will stick. Just taking a large tip, cutting a circle, a little bit of water just on the tip there. So I'm just putting this on a plate. There you have it, his hat. So I'm actually gonna stick this into the freezer and let it firm up. Then we're gonna take it out, stick some dowels on it, put on the cake and we're done. Yay! So I just pulled his ears out of the freezer and I'm just gingerly taking them off my parchment paper. And look at that, they set up so nicely. There's his cute ears. Aren't they adorbs? I love him. So I just stuck his elf hat on and that is it. That totally completes the look. I love this little guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, click that, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. Thank you so much to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this video and I will see all y'all next week. Mwah!